then when you get to the chorus, you're going to shift back up so that you're at the 12th fret of your guitar. And you're going to be sticking this time to the D and G strings mostly, for the most part. Um, you're going to start with your middle finger on the 12th fret of the D, so it sounds like that. And your first finger on the 11th fret of the G. And you're going to do a strumming pattern where you go up on the G, down on the D, so it sounds like this. And you're going to go like, and then you're going to gradually add on fingers so you get your middle finger on the 12th fret of the G, and then your pinky finger on the 14th fret of the G. So it goes like this. You're going to play it sort of like, like this. So you're going to play each of those two note chords four times. And then after you hit the last one, it's fourth time. You slide down so that your pinky is now on the ninth fret of the G, and your middle finger is on the seventh fret of the D. You're going to basically be keeping the same hand, like the chord uh, shape. The basic chord shape is going to stay the same from the twelfth fret down to the seventh and ninth frets. So it's going to slowly, the entire thing sounds like this. And then after you play these down here, you slide back down. Okay? And then a little while after you, after you play this through twice, you're going to shift to this. So you're going to have... You're going to have your first finger on the 10th fret of the B, your middle finger on the 11th fret of the G, and your ring finger on the 12th fret of the D. So that sounds like this. But you're going to play those notes backwards, so you're going to strum it like this. Down, up, You're play that through a couple times, I think it's... Well, let's see. You're going to play it fully through twice, and then you're only going to play the top notes, and then you're going to shift so that you bar these three strings, the D, the G, and the B, with your index finger on the 12th fret, so it sounds like this. And you're going to do the same strumming pattern, down, up, down, up, down, 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 so that's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, and then you're going to add on your pinky and ring fingers with your pinky on the 15th fret of the B, and your ring on the 14th fret of the G. So it sounds like this. So you're gonna so slowly it's gonna sound like this. Then after you play that last chord, you're gonna switch back down here to the ninth, seventh, and seven and nine position. So you're going to do that pattern twice, and then you're going to go back to this. You're going to go back to that. And on the second time, instead of shifting down to the 7th and ninth frets, keep that same position, just shift it over one string so that your, index, your middle finger is now on the 12th fret of the A string. This will make it easier to shift back up to the 17th fret when you're playing the main riff again. So, slowly the whole chorus sounds like this. Actually, I'm going to play it at full speed, so it sounds like this. string so I could slide easily back up into the main chord. And uh, that's everything you really need to know, except when you get to the ending section, when he starts going to the part where he's like, I never, before he gets to singing that, you're going to play like this.
So those are the same chord positions as during the chorus, except instead of playing them in that, the pattern you play in the chorus, you're playing... Shifting down. Back, and sliding back up. After you play that pattern twice, you're going to go back into the chorus until the end of the song. And your last chords are going to sound like this. Where you're playing the open D, the open A, 12th, uh, your middle finger on the 7th fret of the D, your pinky finger going, your pinky finger on the 9th fret the G, then switching to your ring finger on the 7th fret of the G, and then your 1st finger on the 6th fret of the G. So I'm just going to play all the sections at full speed for you again, just so you know what they sound like. Uh, be patient, this song can be a little difficult to get up to speed very quickly, because of all the uh, fast strumming and the awkward hand positions and shifts that you have to do. So if you're new to guitar, I would suggest that you try to play something a little simpler before getting into this, uh, but if you really want to play this, just keep at it, be patient, you'll get it up to speed eventually. Um, and if you need any more help, most of the tabs on ultimate-guitar.com are uh, correct. That's where I got the basic fingerings for how I play it. So you can check it out there. I'll put a uh, link to the page of those tabs in the description. So here's the main riff. Here's the second part of the verse. practicing and playing. Uh, subscribe if you like this. I'll be putting out more covers of songs soon. Uh, well, as soon as I'm able. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Peace.